Well, it was great speaking with you. Um, it's been a while since you and I have had a chance to talk, but i got to say right off the top, I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done with your career uh, as a Torontonian, as a Canadian, and the fact that you have such an amazing voice. And like I said, you just represent in an amazing way. Congratulations on everything that you've done. And thank you for all the interviews that you've done with me over the years. Oh, thank you. It's so sweet. Oh, are you kidding me? Look, please, with everything that you do and the fact that we're getting the chance to talk about new music, I just love this. But I have to ask you right off the top, how are you holding up with everything going on with COVID-19? And, you know, uh, one minute we're in stage three, we're back to two, could be back to one. And then, of course, knowing everything that's been going on on social media with, you know, Karens and Kevins and people fighting about masks and Donald Trump doesn't still thinks he's president and just all of these crazy things. What do you think about all this? Oh, wow. Well, you know, there's not much to Okay. Number one, the COVID thing is driving me crazy. I hate the mask. I, I wear the mask. I wear it. You know, everybody's supposed to. Um, as for the people who think that they're mask police and they want to run around and yell at everybody else and short, shake those same like, you're not the mass police. Those are selfish and hated people. And they're of all colors. It's not just Karens and Kevins that want to be selfish and titled and insist that you do what they want you to do with yourself. <laughs> well, right? I hear, I hear you with that. Master mentality thing still happening. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, that was a lot of stuff. Donald Trump is, is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> And, uh, yeah, um, how I'm doing, okay, there's ups, there's downs, you know, you try to keep yourself busy, you watch the entire Netflix, and hmm. um, anything else you get your hands on. <laughs> um, so, how did you, so how did you make time to put this new single out that we're going to talk about? How did this come about? Well, we have this time. All we have is time. Um, Jeez. You know, let's try to be creative and stay busy and, you know, just think about what's next as we sit here and wonder what we're going to do. It's like, okay, you know, let's be creative and get the juices flowing. You know, make use of the time we have. Exercise a little. You know, play with the dogs. Just do everything and anything you wanted to do but didn't have time to do before. It's about remembering, I guess. <laughs> Remember when you didn't have time for this and didn't have time for that? You've got time now, right? <laughs> so true. But have you found that your creativity is different now, say, than it was before all of this started? I know I've spoken with a lot of artists, and they've told me that even writing songs – and the songs that they're writing is now has a completely different meaning than it had before. Is that the same thing with you, or is it still the same? Mm, no, it's the same. Just I felt like I had more time. Well, we're glad you had more time because we need those breaks from what's going on with the world today. So let's get to it. What's the new single called, and what's it about? Oh, goodness. Uh, the new single is called Ride With Me, and... Um, it's about a uh, lost soul, basically. We do whatever she can to get through life. She's struggling, but uh, you know she, she's doing what she, she thinks she has to do to get by. So it's got a real old school feel to it, rock and roll kind of. I think rock and roll meets mm, the LaBelle. I agree with that. Oh, thank you. Definitely agree with that. And something really left you. You worked with this song, you worked with some heavyweights. Who are some of the people that you worked with? Mm. Ricky T. Lowe. Um, on guitar, he, he produced it, and um, Sebastian Cole, which does a lot of writing for well, for everybody, Alicia Keys, um, 
Alessia Cara, um, everybody and anybody. <laughs> He's amazing. So when was this actually recorded? And I'm curious to ask that because, um, I mean, we've been dealing this now for almost a year, and I know the time has just been flying. Um, but when was this actually recorded? And was this, and if it was recorded during this COVID time, how difficult was it to do it? Um, my vocals were recorded. Actually, that's a great question. I think that they were done a couple of years ago or a year ago. Mm-hmm. So the vocals were already done. It was already written. And then I needed to uh, get production on it. And production was done to it um, a month ago. I'm terrible with time. I have no time. <laughs> time. I think that's why I'm okay in this. It's like <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, you know, it's understandable because the way the world is right now, it's like, you know, there are points where everything seems to be moving so fast and then it's standing still and then it just changes in the, you know, the minute here and a minute there. So completely understand. But here's the thing, though, with a great single like this, is an EP going to follow with this? Meaning, will there be more tracks coming along with this? Oh, that's like you just you just pulling on my leg there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta take it one step at a time. It's baby steps. I'm basically focusing on this right now. Do I have some more? Yes, I have some more. Do I have more to say? Yes, I have more to say. But right now, all I'm saying is check out my new single, Right Be. Okay, well, with a new single also, will there be... <laughs> Your voice went down in tone. All right, this one's crazy. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a wrap-up. It's actually going to go, now that we've got a new single, does that mean we got virtual performances happening here? Ah, well, yes. I will definitely do that. I was actually spending I spent the last three days trying to clear up my spare room because I was like, I cannot film in here. I'm going to be on the Stanford son. Stanford son, that old show. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm like, okay, let me fix this up. So, yeah, I'm working it out. Okay, well, we're looking forward to that. I believe you, I know what you mean, because I haven't done any virtual stuff or Zoom interviews or anything because I don't know where to do it. So I got to figure out, can I clear this spot? Can I clear this spot? Oh, when people start entering into your homes, it's like it's a whole different story. So, um, but like I said, though, I'm just so happy that uh, you got new music out. And we can see and hear you perform and everything else too. Look, as we slowly wrap this up, what do you want to say to people right now who are going through these tough times? I mean, you know, one of the big things that, that has really been uh, on a lot of people's mind is division and uh, the discussion of racism in a whole different manner. What are your thoughts on what's been going on with that? And for people who are going through these tough times and, and not knowing, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow, is there any advice that you can give them that hopefully, you know, they can still keep seeing that sunshine and keep following that path? I feel like if you're not sure about what's going to happen tomorrow, you make sure you enjoy today. Do stuff that makes you feel good today. Right now is that, you know, and anything like you enjoy, like really enjoy, you do it. Make sure you look to the arts and look to music. Find a new song. Find a new TV show. You know, call somebody you love. Do some other thing that makes you feel good. And don't forget, get up, brush your teeth, shower, to all the good stuff, all the important stuff. It makes you feel good about you. That's, Amen, that's to, Amen to that. Social media, where do we go to follow you? Oh, uh, follow me on Instagram. That's Melanie Durant on Instagram. And then, of course, I have my link tree there. And it'll take you to Twitter and Facebook and everything that I got popping. Looking forward to everything you're doing in the future. Well, congratulations on the music. Uh, congratulations with everything that you have done and looking forward to everything you're going to do in the future. We don't get a chance to talk. Have a good safe holiday as we lead into the Christmas season and hopefully the next time we get a chance to talk it's going to be in person I'm hoping for that. Amen. Thank you so much for having me Rudy. Take care. We'll Big love to you. to you and be safe. Bye for now. Bye bye.